hello guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video we will see that how can we use this emulator without actually launching the android studio so guys this is basically helpful when you have limited number of resources like you have limited ram and you are unable to run android studio and emulator parallelly so what you can do is you can simply take any type of uh, editor like here i am having a vs code editor which is a much lightweight ide than android studio and parallelly i can work on this emulator also so let's see how to do that so the first and the basic requirement would be to install this emulator so if you don't know how to install this emulator in your uh, windows system then you can go and check out my other videos the link would be provided in the description so now let's see oh, so for those who have installed this emulator already so guys what we have to do is we have to simply go to the default path wherever your this emulator is installed so if you haven't given the specific path of your installation for the emulator then what you have to do is you can follow the same uh, pace as i'm doing uh, so you can get to the default location so what you have to do is you have to go to the local disk c and within that you have to go to the users and go to the user whichever you have created like minus rajit or Tikrwal. and with this user what you have to do is you just simply go to the view and click on show and click on hidden items so that you can see one folder from the name that is app data within this folder go to the local and in the local you can find one uh, folder android within this android you have to go inside sdk where uh, basically which is stands for software development kit next we go to tools so guys here you can see that i've got several files and here is one file from the name emulator so with the help of this first what we need to do is we have to check that what are the emulator installed on our device so for that you can simply run the command list abds so when you will uh, run this command emulator list abds abd is basically android virtual devices you will get the list of all the virtual devices whatsoever installed on your system like on mine i've got two devices pixel 3a and pixel 6 pro so i would be using pixel 6 pro for this tutorial so simply copy this name and open a notepad file within this notepad file uh, paste this name now what you have to do is close this terminal uh, click on this path and copy this complete path so after copying this complete path what you can do is simply click on this and click copy address now guys on the notepad type cd then give a space then paste the complete path that you have copied now come to the next line and in the next line you have to type the command emulator and then the name of the device on which you have to see your emulator and simply a prefix at the rate now guys after doing this much what you have to do is go to file click on save as and now when you are saving this file you can choose your own location whatever you want either desktop or whatever you want you have to simply type the name of the file uh, like let me uh, type it emulator now when it comes to the extension what extension you have to get is bat this basically stands for the batch file so after doing this much simply click on save and head towards the location wherever you have saved this dot bat file so let me head towards my location so within the nine folder i have saved this emulator so the here is a windows batch file and when you will double click it a uh, command prompt will start like this and several things would be written on this don't focus on that and automatically your emulator will get started like this now you can simply go to the vs code and start debugging your application on your android emulator so guys for any other videos or suggestions or any doubts if you have you can ask in the comment section contact us on instagram or on github we'll drop the links in the description thank you